Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a week one NFL matchup between the San Diego Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, here's some things you want to check out when these two teams take the field. Starting with San Diego, they come in without their big target wide receiver, Vincent Jackson, but that shouldn't stop that offense, especially against the Chiefs' slot corners. So look for Legadu Nene and also Mal Malcolm Floyd to get some opportunities and Buster Davis to make some plays in in between the slot corners, slot nickel and dime corners, they have to attack those vertically in the passing game. Not a running game. You want to front load Mr. Uh, Ryan Matthews back there, the talented rookie at tailback from Fresno State. So you want to get him the ball involved in the game. But defensively, your problem last year was stopping a run. Let's see how you do in front loading that box and forcing Matt Castle to beat you with his arm because you know the Chiefs are going to come in running the football with Thomas Jones and Jamal Charles. So it's up to the front seven of the Chargers to slow down that rushing attack and make Matt Castle have to beat them. That's the biggest thing because you know Castle has a, another propensity to hold the football a little bit too long and also bird dogs his wide receiver. So wherever he's looking first, that's where he's going to go eight times out of ten. So you want to make Matt Castle beat you. That's what you have to do. And also your special teams better be solid because the Chiefs, also have a solid special teams, especially some dynamite returners back there in the arenas and company. But speaking of the Chiefs, they had an impressive preseason. You have a lot of, a lot more weapons now offensively. Dexter McCluster, you also have Thomas Jones. Defensively, you also have Javier Arenas back there as a returner, as a nickel corner. So there's a lot to be excited about in Kansas City. And what they want to do is run the football downhill against the Chargers, force the Chargers to play up. That way you give yourself an opportunity opportunity to hit some flash and passes deep down the middle of the field, especially with your nice tight end and also your outstanding wide receiver who looked impressive in the preseason. I must give it up to Dwayne Bow. So they have some talent. Now defensively, you have to make Rivers get rid of the ball quickly, force him to go underneath to Gates, force him to go underneath to Ryan Matthews. Do not allow him to uh, throw, those, throw those deep strikes to those tall, tall, wide receivers that they have, especially even without Vincent Jackson, they still have some talented wide receivers who are tall. And also for you, you special teams have to be outstanding because you know Sproles is an electric kickoff return and punt returner, so you have to make sure you're sound in all facets of the game. I think every week, every year in the NFL, there's a week one upset. I think this is going to be this game. I believe Kansas City will win this matchup at home. There's a lot to like about the Chiefs right now. They're going to run the football. They're gonna have some solid, dependable targets that can catch the foot, that can catch the rock. They won't be plagued by drops this year. And San Diego's run defense, I still have a question about. And how effective will they be without Vincent Jackson? I think the Chiefs are playing the, the Chargers at the right time, especially playing at the best stadium in the NFL, Arrowhead Stadium. So I'm going with the Chiefs in this matchup in a good one. For more NFL Week One previews, visit FootballGamePlan.com/NFL. Or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan.